he just dominated the game from top to finish. And I was like, man, I'm really playing on the side of, of a great. This is Kendrick Perkins, and this is my story on greatness. Man, playing with Kevin Garnett, AKA the big ticket, was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life in the NBA Finals 2008. It was game one. And I remember he, he just had this look in his eyes that like, nah, this is not about to happen. We winning this. And I remember it was an offensive rebound came off and the building was rocking. And he went back and tip dunked it with two hands and he yelled and he was like, I'm a mother animal and just was yelling and screaming and his emotion just gave you chills. It just made you want to play and want to go out there and compete with that and he just dominated the game from top to finish and I was like, man, I'm really playing on the side of, of a great. Like, I'm with Kevin Garnett. Like, I grew up watching Kevin Garnett. Now I'm playing, I'm his partner in crime. It set the tone from the jump because he tip dunked over Paul Casal. So it set the tone and from there it just, it set the tone for everybody. So everybody pretty much followed his lead, not by talking, but just his energy level. He's full out sweating before before he even jump ball. And then he have this thing where he runs to the fans and he pumps his chest and he curses at them. And then it's this one section behind the basket and all the fans be getting all fired up and stuff. And it just be like, oh, shoot, it's time to go. It was contagious. His energy and his unselfishness helped us because he was easily the best player on our team at the time. But he came in and took a back seat and said that he was taking a back seat to Paul and Ray. And I thought that was that was great by him because he set the tone. He also let Doc call him out and film and was able to coach him. So as your best player, if your coach is able to coach him, then he could coach everybody else. Well, I know one thing he taught me as far as basketball was, he, he was always used to tell me, you know, uh, when you have good games, just like you ready to go look at the headlines and read the newspaper articles, make sure you do the same when you have bad games. And he also told me, it's not about you. It's not about none of us. This is what we're trying to accomplish is bigger than everybody in this gym. He's one of the best human beings I've ever been around in life. One of the most unselfish guys that I've ever been around. Humble, great guy off the court, great human being. I mean, give the shirt off his back. And, you know, we was texting the other day and he uh, he said, I love you, man. And I said, because I had to text him, happy birthday. He said, love you, boy. I said, for sure. And he said, all day long. And I said, till the casket closed. And I really meant that because, you know, at the end of the day, man, KG taught me so much. Forget how great of a player he was on the court. Uh, just off the court, how unselfish he was. He was the best influence ever, one of the greatest power forwards to ever play the game. He is my brother for life and just one of the best guys to be around, period.